even with millions, billions of people around the world praying to God and Jesus, they still hear every single prayer. Today, we're going to talk about how that is possible. Hi, my name is Dakota Lee. I'm a professional animal communicator. I have a gift to see in the spirit, and I've been visiting heaven since I was 12 years old. I've gotten this question um, with all the people praying to God, how can he hear us all? And uh, the good news is he does. He even hears the prayers that we don't say out loud. One of the reasons for this is that time works very, very differently in heaven. So the first time that I um, started to recognize this, this was sometimes different between heaven and earth. I was 13, 14 years old. And this one time I, um, I was having breakfast with my mom and I felt she was always very understanding of this. And I felt that God had something he wanted to show me. So I asked mom, Hey, can I sort of leave breakfast and, uh, close my eyes and let my spirit visit heaven? And she goes, of course, <laughs> I love my mom. And, uh, so I did, I closed my eyes and I went to, got to visit heaven and, I experienced the most incredible, basically this, the angels had put together this absolutely incredible dance routine that glorified God. And it sounds so silly, but when I stood, I got to stand in the middle of them as they were all dancing and they would stomp the ground. And every time they stomped the ground, it just jolted my spirit in the most electrifyingly good way. And I got to experience this um, incredible routine. And then that was it. And when, and God said, okay, you can go back to earth. <laughs> and I opened my physical eyes again and I looked at my mom. I was practically breathless. And she said, what happened? And you know, I was gone in heaven or my spirit was gone in heaven for less than 10 minutes, but it took 45 minutes to explain everything that I had seen. Uh, so I gave you guys the short version. And that was our first indication like, hmm, I don't think time always matches up. But I asked God specifically about this. How does time work? And he said that, well, actually, he showed me something about it. He showed me um, this, you know those, uh, how movies used to be on like, um, like a reel and they would just play really fast. So every screenshot was a picture. And if it played fast enough, then that is how you could see, uh, see movement. Well, God showed me time stretched out on one of those reels. And in each little box, um, there was a moment in time and it was linear for that time reel. But God said, Dakota, from my perspective, I can, I can see all time at once. It's linear for the, the person in each shot, but I can see it all at once. And so when I tell you, I've promised you this, it's because for me, it's already happened. If I've promised you in this, in the year 2019, yes, you will have a son or yes, you will get that, that, that job you're, you're dreaming of, or you will get the house that you're dreaming of. Uh, he goes, if I promise you that, then it has already happened for me. And so if he's promised you something before, you can know that from God's perspective, further down on your timeline, he has already made it happen. Which is really, really cool to think about the certainty of that. So with that said, because God and Jesus can pick the time that they partake in, uh, and of course their consciousness works where they can be present in all time, they're not limited by time either. And so it is actually possible for Jesus and God to spend every moment of your life, they can spend every moment of your life with you. And Jesus can spend every moment of my life with me. Uh, and he has all the time to listen. He's not busy because it's not, he doesn't have 24 hours in a day. Um, he has unlimited amount of, of time. <sighs> So there's a lot of other things with time in heaven. I'm still learning. It gets to be uh, sort of trippy sometimes, but the, the Holy Spirit always holds it together cohesively. That's kind of a theme throughout heaven is Holy Spirit is the glue. So uh, I hope that blesses you. 
I hope it makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have follow-up questions. Uh, time is always an interesting construct to talk about when you're thinking about stepping out of it. <laughs>